the four closed gates. Drivers get between the lines. Let's count it down in three, two, one, go! Ooh, we had a robot go over already. Coming off the hab. 31.87 makes it across the line. They get the points for getting out of the half, but that's going to be it for 31.87 on the Red Alliance now. Blue Alliance will have an advantage three on two. Can they take advantage of it? 50-59, the Midnight Cicadas. Trying to get that cargo in place. The robot pigeons, they've got a hatch. Looks like they're trying to get it in position and score it on their cargo vessel. Over on the Blue Alliance side of the field, 51-33, that's Blue Steel going up high to score in their cargo container, their cargo ship. Trying to get lined up, 66-74. Oh, just off the side. One of the dividing bars, Blue Steel just misses getting that cargo ball scored. 50-59 now, gathers that up. The Midnight Cicadas, they lose control of the ball. Here we go, Blue Steel back in, trying to get lined up. They're ready to take the shot. They do and score. Great job there. 40-63 now, moving back for the Blue Alliance. 66-74, Iron Eagles. They've been working diligently over on the audience side of the field. We're very close. We're in the end game, only 15 seconds remaining. Robots trying to get lined up Get on that second and third deck. Blue Alliance. 40-63. Trick Surfer Kids makes it up to that third level. The other two blue robots on the first level of the half. Blue Alliance is going to be out on top. It was a close match. Blue Alliance 46, Red Alliance 41. Red, Blue Alliance does get that third additional ranking point for the Hab Climb during the end game. <laughs>